Jameson Redding here with yakangler.com. We're here at ICAST 2015 in the native booth with Woody Callaway, the brand manager. He's going to walk us through this brand new Propel FX, the ultimate. So tell me a little bit about this boat. Well, first off, I'd like to give credit where credit's due. Um, we have an incredible pro staff that really helped us design this boat and test it out. Um, got some unique features on this boat not found in other models. Um, so, you know, and we also do a thing called Automatic for the People, where we ask the public, the users of our product, what we should improve, what would they like to see incorporated. And, you know, it's our interpretation. This is the Ultimate FX 13 Propel. Okay. Um, kind of a sister pedal drive version of our Ultimate FX with some major differences, some cool ideas. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just kind of going front, front to back, one of the first things people do, you know, nowadays a lot of electronics, people want to, some people don't use them, but a lot of people have electronics. So one of the things they wanted to have, and people suggested is, is a battery box, like something super easy. Yep. So if you look here, this has a built-in battery box, Very just cool. to make it easy to get to. Yeah, it's not sliding around the hole and bouncing yep. everywhere. You know, a nice secure place for it. And as you go back, so you know, it's very similar, unlike the regular Ultimate that has a high-low seat, you know, in our pedal drives it's a high seat, and we always have to adjust it here, so that was kind of common. The unit is the same unit that fits on our um, Slayer 10 Propel, the short bar. Um, but as you move back, you'll see there's a lot of storage in this boat. It's a lot of easy things to get to. There's pad split paddle holders. If you have a breakdown paddle, you want to take it with you, but you don't know where to put it. It tucks right here underneath the gunnels, nice and out of the way. Yep. And there's a lot of storage right now. You know, for me personally, I use a cooler bag under the seat. But if you look at it, it's got a ton of storage. People can do anything they want to, even if they want to electrify this thing and put a trolling motor in it. We have a bracket now for it. So, you know, you can put your battery under a seat and that gets that weight center. Mm -hmm. And then moving back, people really like, we've got an adjustable fork box, which can be used as a cooler. It's not a cooler, but it'll hold ice. I know that's where I'm gonna put my PBRs. <laughs> Um, it has a lot of track mounts. The boat has a ton of track to be able to instantly modify or customize. The Thor box is a storage unit. It has rails on it. It also moves on a rail so that to customize that every individual reef for your rod. So, you know, there's a lot of thought went into it. A lot of people like this design because of the tunnel hull. And very stable, but it also lowers the center of gravity. Unlike a sit on top, your feet are below the water line, so we can be a little more narrow, a little more sleek, and still have the stability that we're looking for to cast. Yeah. So you gain speed, you gain stability with that tunnel haul. You had this this boat out, adding the, the propel to it is just the next thing, and you've uh, got some cool features. It's been a hit. To the, I mean, we've, we've had people standing around this thing and the whole show. This has been an incredible show. Nice. ICAST has been great for us, and. Uh, yeah, we look forward to getting this out. It should be out in January is the production date. Um, I think we'll hit it and maybe be able to pull that in a little bit. But right now we're telling people January. January. So where can people find more information about all your products? Come to nativewatercraft.com. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Jameson. Love you guys. Yep.